everyone, this is Nat Narf Sanibak and welcome back to Trick and Trick and Treat. I can't English. I sorry. I sorry. Me in me accent. Me in my dialect. Ay, yeah. <clears throat> anyway, um. Darn it! Sorry, I'm pissed. Every time I try to I try to avoid people, people that I don't want to talk to. But the uh, uh, parent gets angry. If my sister avoids people, nobody gets angry. Why? I just want to avoid because I know I'm going to end up talking with them a million times. Even if I say I have to go. Even if I say I have to go, I'll end up there in the abysmal millions of years. Hi. This is why sometimes I wish I was the younger sibling. So I can get away with things. But nope, I can't. <clears throat> oh well. Where did we end up to last time? Oh yeah, the kiss. Uh, I died because I kissed, so don't do it. It's quite hard to work this girl. There's, there's something about her explanation that doesn't sound right at all. Everything seems too convenient to be true. Hold on. Convenient, my ass. Is it impossible? It is impossible for luck to suddenly have improved. Exactly. While I think about it, she unexpectedly gets close to me. And then she looks at me with puppy eyes so adorable they could charm anyone. Shut up! Are you gonna do it? Nope! She asks with innocence. I don't know what to do in this situation. Wait, before we do that, we haven't even properly introduced each other shares. I said clearly nervous. I can feel my heart beating anxiously as the girl stares at me. She blinks confused and then smiles sweetly. My name is Lillian. Great. She doesn't look angry in the least. At the moment, this girl definitely has something special. Shut up. My name is Axel. I said in a robotic voice. However, it doesn't seem to bother her. I show her my a nervous smile. Ding. I have to say something else to stop her, but nothing comes to mind. Without any shyness, Lillian gets closer to me. She has no problem in taking an initiative. Oi, take a lamb! Wait a moment! Don't take the advantage here! <clears throat> Her eye suddenly becomes naughty. Something in there makes my blood roar. Hi! It's a pleasure, Axel. I very much appreciate your help. I haven't said anything yet! She brings her lips closer to mine and then she places her arms around my neck to prevent my escape. Whoops! 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 That gesture alone freezes me in place. I watch her slowly approach me. Closer, closer. <clears throat> Hops! Because at the moment I felt life is possessed. They take control of my body, forcing me to kiss her passionately. As if we were lovers, each other enough. Look, what the hell? <clears throat> I can only feel the warm and love with the lips. How the hell do you do that? Without even taking, I break the kiss and pull away from her. What did you do? I look incredulously at the girl. What is going on? I feel so cold as if I'm dying again. Because well, she can suddenly talk, someone attacks us. That destroys part of the cabin. What the hell? Are we back in the same place? Wrecking ball. Get up and look. The cop dancer surprised me. What are you doing? I don't know! The superhuman strength. Whoa! What the fuck? Firstly, superior to where her thin appearance would suggest. She dragged me away from the cabin as it kidnapping me. I couldn't do anything to stop it. Great! I'm still alive! <clears throat> Hello? In a few mo minutes, we could be a few moments. We got very far away from the cabin. What did I do? How quickly as she can be can run impresses me. She is definitely not a human. Aren't both of them? She finally lets me free. My hand was red and hurt from how strong her grip was. Unfortunately, I feel better from the kiss. Wow! What the heck did you do that for? I asked immediately with anger. 
Who does this guy don't think she can do something like this? I should be the one asking that. She replied, looking at me with eyes and in the eyes with contempt. I can't read. Because of you, she has already recovered most of her powers. She then explained, ending with a face of rejection. Diverting her look from my eyes, she was overreacting, maybe. What are you talking about? She only wants to be free from you. I said with annoyance, I simply couldn't believe her. Neither of the two girls in this war seems trustworthy. That is, that is misfortune considering how beautiful they are. You really are an idiot. I know! Look at me with her eyes full of red. But bleh. Yes, she wants to be free, fulfill her air, revenge. Can't you understand that? You know what I don't understand here is you, because you're not explaining a goddamn thing. None of you are, actually. My patience has ended long ago. I'm not in the mood for a scolding. Stupid human. To easily be seduced by her. All men are equal. None can think with the right hand. Why, you have a left head? <clears throat> Folds her arm, exclaims with annoyance while looking at me as if I was Paul child. Because of your reckless actions, we are in serious trouble. What kind of trouble? <clears throat> she sighed. If only I'd believe me, this wouldn't be happening. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I forget, I forget the sweet words of that girl, Lady. Suddenly, Ashley gives me a piercing look as sharp as a knife. Why do you believe her story? She is deceiving you, idiot. This is what, that's what she wants you to believe. And how do you know that? By us being suspicious? I do not like this girl. She's really too bossy and nagging. Idiot, didn't you notice when she was absorbing your vital energy? I know this nothing! She said, tearing down in a second of my doubt and resistance, with the look of her anger in her eyes. Yes, that's what she was doing, absorbing you just like she did in the past with those five unfortunate men. Was oh, staring at me. The latest victim was 20 years ago. Since that day, I promised her that no, I promised that nobody would get close to her. Hearing that called my attention immediately. <gasps> the dead guy! Why did you do that? Look, distraught after speaking the death of that man. I wonder if she felt guilty for that. If she gets her hands on one more victim, she will fully recover her powers. And once she achieves it, she will begin uh, begin her revenge for what your ancestors did to her. Which is... Worst of all is that all that energy you have given her is now... <clears throat> With the energy you have given her, she is now able to leave this forest and search for the last victim. Is that the truth? As incredibly, I didn't like the sound of it. If it was true, we would be in big trouble. Not only me, but everyone. She bites her lips with anxiety. Yes, that's worse. What's worse is I have no power to deal with her. What, I have to kill, kiss you too? Because she looks at me in anger. She and a certain group of idiots decide to come here for God knows what. I can't respond to that. I only feel guilty. I could get rid of her friends. For some reason, I couldn't with you. Because I'm special! You have a stronger magical power than normal. It explains ending with a side of frustration. What did you do to my friends? I asked firmly without hesitating. Thinking that would be they would be they could be wounded that gave me force, but perhaps I was overreacting. Don't worry, they are safe. I only made them leave the forest. I folded her arms then she sighed. But creating illusions and getting them out left me very weakened. Is that why you were lying on the ground when you're found? I said recalling that moment, she was wounded and unconscious. Yes, the little kitty. I hear static. I couldn't help but feel sorry for her at the time. Yes, but it was so then hell that I had to fight the innocent princess you saw before. So I mean, I'm pleased, but this time for just a moment. At the same we both remain quiet. Silence. Allowing silence to surround us. It's painful! It's been a while since I last heard a voice calling me. I think that I ceased being useful to Lillian as Ashley said. Suddenly, she snaps her fingers. Wait, is there a chance? There's still a chance. What, I kiss you? She said full of energy. There's a glimmer of hope in her eyes. Then she said her sight on me. Hear me well. This is the only way to defeat her. You should ask him I noticed a slight pressure in the I knew it! What is it? I asked curiously to her idea. Do you remember what she asked you to help her regain her power? Yes! Time for a few more times! She told me to kiss her. Without thinking about it. After I realized what I'm saying. No! The kiss! I should. No, I don't want automatic. 
if I should feel lucky or used or do we abused? Idiot, that's not what I'm at. That's not, it's not that I want to kiss from you. Roared and she diverts her sights from my, what? Then what do you want? Down there? It's the only way to achieve this. What she did was not kissing you. This is stealing your life energy. What? What? I said sarcastically. The memory was still fresh on my lips. Shut up. Then for the small detail of the theft of vital energy would have been a great kiss. Shut up. That time she's a shiver. And she looks at me furiously. It seems that your brain does not understand. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. My brain don't work. <laughs> I do not plan to steal your life energy. My intention is to get energy from your feelings of love. Shy. She looks away embarrassed. Did I hear it? Did I hear it? That's completely wrong. What did Jade say? Comes twice to clear her throat. If your feelings for me are full of love, I can regain my energy. But I only just met you! I don't want. Red as an apple. What the fuck? But that's impossible. How can I feel for someone I've just met? Exactly! I would say that. Please help me, insignificant human. At the same time, she looks at me with her eyes that I should be thankful. What the fuck? Put my side. However, she just a word. What the what? Kidnap What? No! Wait! Let me save! I don't want to redo that goddamn thing. I don't wanna help you! Sorry, I can't believe in what you're saying. I suddenly said, with the voice more serious than before. I'm dead, never mind. It's no joke, I feel bad for saying it, but it's how I really feel. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. You attacked me and my friends, why should I help you? She says it all. She simply cannot believe it. I'm dead. But, but. She murmured with disbelief, reflecting on her red eyes. She seems hurt, but there's no turning back. I'm sorry, but this is my decision. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Put an end to goodbye. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Go. Let's go back to her. Suddenly said fierce. Truth is, I can't blame her. Hope you don't regret it later. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Before losing her sight, I take a look back. She's on her knees, facing towards the floor, the ground. I feel sorry for her, but I've already made my decision. I wonder how Lily ends. You're dead. She's well since we were attacked by Ashley for no reason. You shut up, you idiot. I felt something when I kissed her. But perhaps there's more behind it than when I heard from Ashley. I should go talk to her. You idiot, you idiot. Don't kiss anybody! Finally, I'm here. Again! I have to be strong. At my arming myself with courage, I go towards this cabin and prepare a knock on the door. But just in the moment, someone or something stops me. Hey, you're there! He opened the door and gives me a warm hug. Seeing she heard my footsteps as I approach. <laughs> she has some power of observation. Either way, it doesn't matter. She's here and she seems happy. Brave night, you are back and safe and sound. She said, well, look at me in the eyes of tenderness and then giving me a sweet smile. What the fudge? It's impossible she would do something as evil as that, she said. Shut up, you don't know the drill. Yes, it seems so. I murmured without emotion. I was more confused, no matter what I do. Something always seemed to be wrong. There's never anything right, you idiot! Don't worry about me. I'm much better now thanks to you. Thanks to the help you gave me. And to the sweet smile. However, now I should reward you for coming back to my side. What? Death? Reward me? If we did inquisitively? What kind of reward is that? Since you managed to escape from the claws of that horrible Ashley and you're so loyal to me, this is why you'll have a reward. What? My death? Naughty. She looked into my eyes with the people's How do I know what is what? I'm just a teenager! Whoa, very close to mine. I can smell her feminine scent, but there wasn't any sense she had yet to fully materialize. And you will receive a reward. My death sentence! I cannot resist her. I close my eyes as she asked me. At the moment, her lips and mine become together. This is much more intense. You can feel her heat and softness in more detail. Okay, it's much more passionate than the one before. And then I died. Yep. Leave my body. She holds me tight so that I don't fall down as I wear the toy. Kissing her from the bottom of my heart, I left without any energy. Pale and my body's cold, heavy as a blade of lead. Hi. Hi. Hi, bitch. Hi. Hold on a minute. 
You are one horrible bitch. I won't take your life, said Fulbright. You gonna hang me up there? Besides, I have more than enough energy to accomplish my vengeance. Great. It's a miraculous smile, malicious smile that I would never have wanted to see. Why did you say revenge? My mind barely works now. Everything looks fuzzy. Everything is so confusing. I don't even seem to mind hearing that or imagine how cruel it could be. Definitely there is something broken in me. What is this? Five Nights at Freddy's? You show loyalty to me, so you will be my partner in this eternity. What partner? What's our contract? You shall be my servant and will obey me and please me in everything that I need. Great! Suddenly <laughs> begins to laugh and eerie laughter which fills with joy. Yes, my lady. Oh god, without showing any rejection or dead any resistance. I am Sir Black Blot I'm her black butler and her black blopler. It's my first slave. How pleasing. Can I stab her somehow? Yeah, what I never thought that I would find a human so stupid but at the same time so noble as you. I think I was lucky. Great. Malice. Seductive malice. They are a cruel baby eye baby blue eh, baby blue eyes that love to be like what? They are cruel blue eyes that love to be like that. But there is a problem. A save without power is not useful. She pauses in and snaps her fingers. I know. I will show some of my power with you. Count yourself lucky. What? Then it's her eyes on me. Suddenly feel my strength is returning to normal. I'm dead. I'm dead. <clears throat> feel for me and I have no problem standing on my own. But soon I realize I was wrong. I feel even stronger than before. Great. Now just one more left thing to left to do. What? 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 I wasn't thinking anything good. But before she could say more, something interrupts her. The cat? She appeared in front of the two. Thankfully, you're still alive. Come with me. We can still beat her. No! Almost. Sounding almost desperate. I hear it, but even if I want it, my body doesn't respond. I am completely still as if I was a statue. You idiot! What were you waiting for? Flee! I'm already under her curse, you moron! Seeing my back of rea lack of reaction, sounding even more desperate. Eh, hey, the only idiot is you, don't you realize? It was not necessary to kill him to carry out my plan. What a fudge. Pride and confidence. The look in her blue eyes says it all. She already had the victory in her hands. Freezes for a second from the impression she was stuck. Wait, what are you trying to say? She asked full of disbelief that was visible in plain sight. Right in front of your face, lady. She smiles. Lillian smiles. Simple. He gave me all of his energy as, as a reward. Gave me all of his energy, and as a reward, I allowed him to be my slave. You lie, lie, lie! She doesn't make that. She doesn't take the news well. Great. Screams seriously while looking with hatred at Lillian. The enmity of the two must be something different than what I imagined. No, it's the truth. Was the simple response of Lillian, and I get static. Hello. Displaying a confident smile that was almost insulting to see. She bites her lower lip with anguish. Her eyes at the same time become sharp. I didn't expect to have to use this method, but there's no other option. Suddenly her nails grow long and her not as what a food! She points at her own juggler. Stop her. Ordered Lillian without hesitation. And then I do it. I feel my body disintegrate disintegrate and before I knew it I was right next to me Ashley in less than a, in less than I blink I had changed positions I can't read pure, pure instinct and I grab her arm and stop Ashley no let go of me you giant idiot I have to do this or you won't know what will happen or you don't know what will happen she tries to escape but now I have more strength superhuman strength I will not allow you to do that said ending with a short laugh and she smiles full of confidence partially hiding her lips behind one hand with elegance <laughs> what is this <laughs> let go let me go let me go let me go repeats the same thing over and over but by little by little she becomes quieter except her, accepting her defeat she then lowers her head in silence it appears something was stealing her power me that's my fault that something is no other than me okay you'll be my main guess Ashley, of how i carry out my revenge 
You don't have to worry about those idiot humans. Besides, deep down you wanted it too. What? What? Except in her face. It breaks my heart to see her like that. But no matter how hard I try to move my body, I have, no matter how hard, how hard I try my body, it doesn't listen to me. Not even a single muscle. Tonight, at least it's hearing. Tonight I will fulfill the reason of my existence. <laughs> I'm thinking of Kogoro Mori when he's laughing right now. How beautiful after so long waiting for this day. Finally, they will know my revenge. Finally! <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Nadine looks very different from when I saw her. She can't stop laughing and with euphoria. Every single one of her laugh leaves a scar in my heart. I understand my mistake. Now that it's too late. Too late to change the time. Mm. It's My body has become her slave. I am just a puppet now, waiting for my lady to pull my strings. I got no strings to hold me down, but now I do. <laughs> oh! That night, I was a witness to the most heinous acts someone could commit. Murders, tortures, screams, blood, tears. I saw all this more than each, more than once each. Family, friends, neighbors were murdered, and I couldn't do anything about it. No, that isn't right. My own hands were the ones who took their lives. I still remember their faces in agony, standing and begging me to stop. But no matter how much I wanted to, <clears throat> no matter how much I wanted to, my will to is controlled by someone else. I am just a puppet now, waiting for my mistress to pull my strings. An eternal life filled with misery is all that awaits me. In my despair, I managed to break the control of Lillian, but just for long enough to make a single move. What? Surrounded by death and fire, I shout a loud as heartbreaking scream to the shark. Sky! My voice echoes all over, hearing a message of pain for the which there are no words. Screaming. Great. Ah! My revenge in this town is fulfilled. However, this is not the end. This is just the beginning. She pauses. She beholds the destruction of the town with satisfaction, then turns to look at me with a smile. We are leaving. Yes, my princess. You're so cute. Shut up! Her smile makes my heart pound. Although I'm just a puppet now, I still keep a fragment of my conscience. But it's already corrupted. Her revenge and smile inspire love instead of hatred. Because my life and world are now Lillian now. Are only Lillian now. We will always be together for all eternity. Of course, I will always protect you, help you, and love you for all eternity. I will do everything so that my lady, my princess, can be happy. I couldn't expect any less from you, my loyal servant. You truly are my knight in silver armor, not shining armor. God damn it. <clears throat> Stupid Axel. Stupid. Oh, town of Abington, Oxf Oxfordshire, country, November 12th. It's been over a week since the discovery of the total slaughter in the small town. Police still have no clues about what happened here. The evidence is scattered everywhere, explained the police of William, William Lim. It's as if we are trying to find a needle in a haystack. An explanation for why everyone suddenly decided to kill their neighbors and commit suicide later. But sadly, there isn't one. In this case, the needle does, the needle does not exist. So far, everything seemed to point that it was a pagan ritual. This town years ago was related to witches and other supernatural legends. But there is no doubt these deaths were the result of nothing but human actions. And we will continue with the investigation. The chief sounded confused, but in all reality, the country is. Literally, in a single night, all the inhabitants of Abington died by the hands of their own neighbors. They were just not, they were not just murderers. Many were tortured, too. According to investigations, more than 1,000 people were burned alive in this end of the day. What the fudge? What?
Can I skip? I can't skip! No! I need to skip, please! Please! No! Can't be the end. I still have some more endings to get, right? Hello? Yeah, I still have this. I think there's another one here too. Okay, load um this. Um believe in helper. We'll do that. <clears throat> I'm one weird lucky guy just keep kissing girl after girl every night. Like this night. Okay. Nice chat. Nice tea. I can't ignore her petition. I know that she has not been the kindest girl, but somehow I think she's telling the truth. You just love kissing me. That's just it. Okay, I'm gonna help you. But tell me what should I do? I asked the same time, look at her and I said, there are areas with determination. She nods a couple times. She seemed pleased with my answer. It's simple, just share your feelings of love towards me. She now responds with more confidence. If this is shimmer and shine thing, then I'll understand. If it is night and shining, I'll get understand. But blah, how do I show somebody I love when I just met the first time? I can't help but sigh after hearing it. Something here is wrong. Wait, why can I do that? Well, we just met. I do feel some empathy for you, but it wouldn't be right to call it love. With the expression in her face, she asked too much for me. She then places a hand against her lip, lips, making a pensive gesture. What am I doing? It is a feeling that cannot be achieved in a single day. Oh no, we're not doing it. We're not going to love each other for how many weeks and months, right? <clears throat> of course, not a silly kid. Have you ever been in love? Well, there is one alternative, but I don't want to use it because it would do you harm. Um, um, what is it? I stare at her face. Vitality! Ah, stop eating me alive! <clears throat> no more static, okay. With a very serious look. She then diverts her gaze, feeling disgust at the simple idea. But I'm not going to do it. If I remove the vital energy you have left, you will die. Certainly, I do not want that. Then if you don't have energy to fight, what do you do? Wait until I love you? <clears throat> if you don't have those feelings for me, it is not. There's not much that can be done. What the fuck? You just forced me to love you! Anyway, I'll go and face her. Even if I have to give my life in the, fa in the fight. What the fuck? Is there really nothing I can do for you? It immediately. I could not just let her go like that. At least I had to do something. However small that may be. How could you help me? Oh, shut up, bitch. I think that some things, are, some things simply will never change. I still sigh for a moment, looking down while I think of a solution. She stared at me, impatient. I don't feel love to, for towards you, but I felt it for someone else. I could try to remember those feelings so that you can use them as energy. Someone else? Crush? He thinks deeply for a moment. I guess it's worth a try. Said not sounding very convinced, but it was very, it is very simply better than nothing. The two of us stared at each other's eyes for a couple of seconds without saying, Wait, did I have a girlfriend before? <clears throat> Embarrassed. We're acting like kids. Shut up, you're just young. You young little brats. I'm just trying to save the world with a kiss. Are you ready? No! <laughs> <laughs> Lovingly. Izzy didn't know that she was taking the seriously. Hi, not. Whatever you want, we can sign. What? Just before my eyes, closing my eyes and trying with all my heart to revive that image. As she holds my hand, even with the eyes closed, I can feel her presence near. 
That makes me somewhat nervous. We have to relax. I exhale, letting my concerns go out with a high breath. Hands off caress mine. Oh god, what am I reading? Something that happened many years in the past. <clears throat> Every summer, I went to my grandparents' house to visit them. I didn't like it because they had nothing fun there. Only an old TV, dusty books, I had nothing interesting to read. However, whenever I went there, I could see her. Oh! A girl with long brown hair who always, who always had a cute dress. Aww. When I saw her for the first time, I could, I could feel a strange fascination for her. For her fragile and inexpressible beauty. I watch her at a distance without knowing what this without knowing what this feeling was. I only knew that it was some that something in her called me. It was more than just beautiful. Her beauty was something with many layers, with many facets. Faucets. Her gestures, her expressions, her way of playing, they were all beautiful. Finally one day I had the courage to ask her to play together. Without even thinking she about it, she told me yes. After all that afternoon, we spent playing until it was inevitably began. Huh? Until it inevitably began to get dark. I can't understand, can I? Wait, why am I already nervous at a young kid? She was a simple girl, enjoyed playing. At, eh, enjoyed playing as anyone else, but still, I could not remove my eyes from her. Aww. And the day ended, she said goodbye to me with a radiant smile. I had forgotten how beautiful it was. How astonishing it was after seeing it. After that day, I never got to see her again. Ah! Her family moved to another country. Ah! Free distant love, or does my inexperienced feelings confuse with something new? But without that, it's beautiful. I don't know what to forget it again. Never again. Ah! And unexpectedly, I feel Ashley giving me a shy kiss on the lips. But it was infernal. Only lasted enough to feel it, to know that it was real. But at the same time, that shyness gave it a special beauty. Sweet kiss. There are no more words to describe it. Whoa, hello! I opened my eyes, finding Ashley one step away from me, completely blushing and looking away from me. What? Is it enough? Her red eyes are gentle, and although embarrassed. Are you right? I ask with kindness while I look at her. I heard calm that quickly after the kiss. Shh, shh, wait. <laughs> I don't show it, but somehow I feel liberated. Right then. Turns her head to look at me in the eyes. Yes, thank you. Is it enough? She then beats Leaf and magically recovers her, recovers her proud attitude. I believe that this will be enough to stop her. Is it enough? Oh, great! Successful. Yay, great. That's fascinating. Fantastic to hear. Fascinating to hear. Her, she closes her eyes another couple times. If she's not scolding, I must confess she's very cute. Great. Anyway, hey, we can't wait any longer. Every second we talk, Lillian must be using it to plan her revenge. We have to go now and stop her. Okay. Uh, since acting with complete seriousness. Yeah, someone who just kissed me a while ago is now being serious. A little break had ended. Great. Yes, let's go. Then my shirt just finds overflowing with determination. DETERMINATION! Filled with determination. There's no more to say. No more to kiss either. <laughs> what? Are we going back to the house? The way back to the cabin feels short this time. Yeah, because she's expecting you, you know? Before I knew it, it was in front of my eyes. What the fuck? Outside, she was waiting for us. Great night, I see you finally came. I said with... She said with a confident smile. Her attitude is very different from the last time I saw her. Just looking at her, I'm sure of it. She's not any innocent soul. It's just same to see you with that woman. I hope it helps for you. Shut up. I won't be fooled by you again. Yeah, she actually won't be fooled by you again. She replied, taking me in my place. At that moment, I see Lillian making a grimace of disgust. But soon she recovers her look of confidence. I wanted Axel to be my companion since he kindly came to rescue me. Oh, well, it's not important. I already got enough energy from him. But that alone, I have surpassed you. Finally, I will be able to get rid of you, Ashley. Said, pronouncing her name with a mocking tone while giving us a malicious smile. So malicious. Perfectly with it was the plan in the hand. Was in the palm of her hand. Instantly roars furious. 
We won't know until you try. Saying that, she crosses her arms with pride. Once I beat you, nothing shall stop me from completing my revenge. Revenge, Menj! Why do you want to do that? It's been far too long. The people who ordered you are already gone. Not even the memory of the crime committed here existed anymore. It's just a village of innocent people. You're right, but someone has to suffer. You. <laughs> Responded Lillian without hesitation. No doubt, a single moment, leaving me a complete cloudness. After seeing, I can't read that. After seeing my reaction to her answer, she directed an evil smile right at me, as if her word mean nothing. What? That makes me angry. And what do you, what do you win by doing that? I yelled at the same time. I closed my hands into fists. I simply couldn't accept it. It was too much. I just want them to suffer like I did. If I didn't make them suffer, who will? Who will be the carrier of this hate that every day eats at me from inside like parasites which sickens me and inform me? I don't know. She pauses. This is unfair me. This is unfair that I continue to suffer while they are innocent. Yeah, she hits her chest, showing how much it, that meant to her. To her. What the hell? This is more than pain. This is a proof of my existence. Okay! Anyway, enough with speeches. I will end you and then bring my revenge to the townspeople. Then, without saying anything more, the battle between the two began. What is the piano? It was something that my mind could not comprehend. What? Show a power of magic that deformed reality to. Was this Harry Potter shit? Repeatedly attacked by firing a strange translucent power as of hot air. Just from seeing it, I know there's enough energy, enough strength to block down the house. But they didn't save him. Tommy moves a hand, creating a better that perfects her attacks each time. Interesting, it was actually always the most active. Wow. She attacks incessantly from many, 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 many different angles. Okay. Wait, my head's itchy. Ah! Why? While Lillian stays still, reflecting her attacks. Oh god, the static! Static, excuse my name? Okay. No, static! Hello? Static? Okay. It's always with a smile on her face. After seeing that those attacks will not have effect, as she changes tragedy. Tragedy! She transforms herself into an imaginary white piece and charges against Lillian. Transforms her body into an unknown dark being, resisting her attack. What is this? Overwatch? He gains human form, making it remain so disgust. Oh god. Go to the wounds out of these confrontations. But then before my eyes I could see I see how they place uh, their hands on their wounds and heal them magically. Wow. Not really those two have the same powers, the only difference was their personalities. There are simply no words to describe it. At least in my mind it was not able I my mind was not able to find it. I only know that during the fight, neither of the two seemed to have an advantage over the other. Everything ind indicated that it was an even match. Only several occasions, I, I beheld bright and colorful lights, superhuman abilities, multi what? multiplication of bodies, transportation, what the hell, healing, transformation, and many other powers that seemed to come out of my prayer tale. Ah, Naruto shades! The combat seems to last forever. Every second, every attack, every defense were loaded with so much tension and emotion that time had simply disappeared for me. The only thing that captured my attention was seeing the two girls fight in such a fantastic way. What are we talking about? What? Both fall. On the ground. Bloodily. Bloodily. Bloody. They look at each other's eye. The blue eyes beheld the red ones and vice versa. Both smile. Probably Lillian with irony. It seems that the two were anticipating that end. You did very well. I didn't expect it. Said with honesty. You taught me? Stupid girl. What's with the stupid girl? Cried with arrogance even though her lips were stained with blood. She then shows us a smile full of malice. Always been like that. Even a mutual death you consider a victory. What? They're both dead! You should be more selfish. Strange when she does not sound angry in the least. You may be right, but all I wanted was to stop you. Replied as she proud herself. There is not a hint of regret in her words. Okay, I accept my defeat. But at least in these last moments of my life, I want to be in peace with you. Is that okay? What? I was gonna say the same thing. You're both dying! An unmistakable feeling of sadness. 
This man and this team, you know, they basically they showed them both what? <clears throat> they bonded. And then I see them slowly start to disappear. The two turned to us, giving me one last round. Goodbye, hey, number nine. I confess I enjoyed kissing you. It wasn't all an act. What? Shut up. Ah! Thank you. Actually, I couldn't be able to feel nostalgia at the moment. I knew it was going to be our last goodbye. Even though we don't want to be with it, it, it was your fate. Is it right to end, to, end to end like this? Don't worry, everything will be fine for now. Finally, my reason for existing has been fulfilled. I feel no regrets. I have no regrets. Then this is our goodbye. Yes. Suddenly, she recovers her pride attitude. However, this time was different. Just happy. Really happy. Pleasure to meet you, stupid human. Whatever, stupid cat! But to cry. Oh, great. Fun to meet you. What the hell? Why am I left with this weird feeling? It was it surprisingly near. Those were the last words. What the hell? They disappeared, dispersed in the form of particles of light. As if small fireflies were. Fireflies! <laughs> were escaping from their buttery bodies with a beautiful but depressing green color. Without thinking, I run towards them. Even if I couldn't do anything, I wanted to touch them one, one last time. But the only thing my hands are able to touch are the particles of light that slip out of my fingers as if they were water. And then I see the light rise higher and higher until it disappears in the sky. I did it. I'm a hero. I'm the one who finally broke the curse. No one will know. Now no one else will be trapped by it. But then why do I have this face that looks as if it wants to cry but has no tears? Why do I feel so terribly bad? Life is more than just victories or defeat. That night I learned it the best way. What the hell? Where did I find my friend? <laughs> Finally get out of the forest and it was almost morning. Axel! Suddenly I hear- Oh my friends! They only remember me now, eh? It's the voice of my friends who are looking for me. Over here! I shout without hesitation with a bit of clumsiness because of my confusion. Soon they found me and impatiently run towards me. Where were you? The worry was killing us! I stared with this face that I don't remember having seen before. Well, you didn't try to find me inside, right? So yeah. You were answering, I rubbed my forehead. I couldn't find the forest exit. I don't know if I was about to say something, but... Before that, I interrupted him. Well, anyway, it doesn't matter. I was just lost. The important thing is that we were all safe. Yes, you're right. Bastard. Didn't believe my story if I told him, so I didn't bother to do so. And so, as sudden as it happened, the knife left behind, being replaced by boring days, most identical days. But at least I had achieved our goal. I had a night worthy of remembering. Now, what? 15 again? <clears throat> Ooh. Several days have passed since then. Suddenly I see a cat walk by. Has she? I asked without even thinking. She turns to look at me confused, but of course she could not be who I spoke of. Seems only friendly with humans. She observes me with shyness but doesn't growl at me. Without much thought, I did attempted I decided to adopt her. What? Maybe in hopes Hashi she would come back someday. Even if that was an impossible desire. Having this cat a cute cat will make her remember Ashi forever. It might have been just a night, but it was an experience I would never forget. I hold the cat in my eyes. She actually looks happy for having a new one. Seeing her like that makes me smile. At least she didn't scratch you on the street, did she? But out of that, you'll be good company. Ah, I still think it's her. Aww. Oh, come on, not the credits again. Ah! Okay, back. Um, what is that? See, there is an extra ending. Aha! Should I look for it? Okay, I'm gonna look for it first. I don't want to try and click, 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 because I still have to go pick up my daughter, so yeah. I'll be back! <coughs>